here in New York today a decision on that issue that set off a national debate. New York agreed to allow a mosque to be built near Ground Zero. In the past months, there's been a debate between those who argued America's freedom of religion and those who claim this is not about religion but a singular place. Dan Harris was there for the decision. Thank you all very much. There was applause <laughs> mixed with jeers when the vote came down. I apologize for this disgrace. A Muslim group has cleared their final civic hurdle, allowing them to tear down this building half a block from ground zero and put up a community center which will include a prayer room on a site they say was purposely chosen to promote interfaith dialogue and post 9-11 healing. Their argument is this is an entire city and an entire nation that is trying to heal after a traumatic event. How Muslims need to be a part of it. Okay, how is that healing? Not in this wait, wait a minute, how is that healing? By building a mosque, an in-your-face mosque at Ground Zero. What just happened is like spraying swastikas all over uh, a Jewish memorial. The group behind the community center was celebrating today and pushing back against critics. What about the notion of building it somewhere a couple blocks away from Ground Zero, not so close to such a sensitive area. We really stand for peace and will believe the symbolism of being close to a site that had so much tragedy emanate from it. It will bring about much healing. At a time when nearly half of Americans say they have an unfavorable opinion of Islam, the community center has become a national political issue, pitting Republicans like Newt Gingrich, who called the project an insult, and Sarah Palin, who said it, quote, stabs hearts, against New York's Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who said this today. To cave to popular sentiment would be to hand a victory to the terrorists, and we should not stand for that. Even though the Islamic Community Center has now cleared a major hurdle, it may not be built for years. Organizers say they haven't started fundraising yet, and opponents say they will continue to fight. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.